Hello my beautiful people on the internet. In this video, we are going to walk through some simple yet effective steps on how to boost your PC performance, helping you to work faster and more effective without expending any damn. Stick around and let's get our computer running like new again. In this video, I will guide you through some easy actionable steps on how to speed up your computer and improve its performance. You don't need any technical expertise required, just follow along with the steps I'm going to go through and you have your computer running smoothly in no time. So let's dive into the video. The first thing we are going to do is to check if there are some temporary files on our computer and clear them from our computer. And to do that, just head to your system settings and then go to system, scroll through, you are going to see storage, just click on storage and here, what you're going to see is that you're going to see some temporary files bar over here. Just click on it and it will take you over here. Once the scanning is done, you are going to see remove files over here. Just click on remove files and click on continue to finish. All our temporary files will be removed and here you are going to see some of the files which are also at certain places and if you like to remove them like one in my recycle bin i can just click on it and click on remove files and choose continue the next thing we are going to do is to change some privacy and security settings so we will head to our privacy and security and here what we are going to do is to turn off all the permissions we don't normally use on our computer in order to keep it away from our computer and boost our computer speed so the things we are going to do now is here we have some windows permissions and here i recommend you go to your speech and turn it off if you don't use it and here you are going to see inking and typing personalization turn that one to off and here what we are going to do is to go to the app permissions here what i would like to do is to turn off the things i don't use on my windows computer in order to keep my computer smooth so i'm going to turn off location going to turn off camera because i don't use camera on my computer you can keep it if you use it and i'm going to turn off notification because i don't like notification on my computer so feel free to look through everything and turn off the things you don't like because it consumes a lot of spaces and energy so the next thing we are going to do is to go to our apps and here go to startup and we are going to see some few apps here which has been turned on and some turned off so look through and here turn off all the apps you don't want to start when your window starts and to keep it smooth you can just turn off all the ones which you don't use normally when the computer starts and anytime you want to use it you can turn it on yourself so i'm going to turn off the rest and make sure you don't turn off the window security notification icon and with that, you are going to see the window security icon over here anytime you restart your computer and it's very important. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to head to your start menu and here search for system DM CPL. And here you are going to see it file, just click on it and it will open this system properties for you. What you have to do is to go to advanced and here what we can do is to change the performance of our computer. So I'm going to click on settings and we are going to see some few things regarding the animations and how things show on our Windows computer. So we have some options over here. I'm just going to click on adjust to best performance and here what i'm to turn it on again is to get the smooth edges on fonts and here also show thumbnail instead of icons and here what you feel like adding you can just click on it to add click on ok and click on ok again the next and the last thing we are going to do is to turn off animations and if you go to your personalization you will go to colors and here you are going to see transparency effect. We show the transparency effect on our settings and 
our Windows Explorer. But if you are having a low-end computer, I recommend you turn it off for a nice and beautiful performance on your computer. So that's that for the video. The next thing we have to do is to just restart the computer and we are going to see that the performance of our computer has been taken to the next level. So thank you for watching the video. See you in my next video. Bye.